He'll be a frequent target among the many for Alexander tonight. They'll throw it often and early, and the first one is caught by Kea Aloha Polaris. Bradley and Salas, the outside receivers, or the, actually Salas is a slot. They are the guys who go down the field. And right on eight, converting about 45% on third down, one for one tonight. First play on the ground tonight. Leon Wright, Jack Daniels staring into third and ten. Underneath, first catch of the night. Uh, Derek's got a lot of enthusiasm, and his team is playing with tonight as they get to Greg Alexander. And guess who's there for the first time tonight? We hear from DeAnthony Smith. What a great job he does. You'll notice Deion Young at the top. How he's turned and he's playing the ball. He's not playing the receiver. He's just playing the ball. Could not coach it any better than that. That's why he has three interceptions. How do you like that hip rotation? He turned <laughs> <laughs> Alexander again completing it to Polaris and he gets stuck about that. Several of the Hawaii football players have friends, relatives, some very close right. relatives. Idiot. Just go out there and play the game and be respectful. I, I love it. My, my all-time favorite, you, and you're my hero. <laughs> me? No, yes, sir. Let me just tell you. I just I, love how you say, come here, son. I'll be talking to you. I, I just wanted to be sure. Alexander under center. On usually team with six touchdowns. A two-back set. That's the problem that I've always seen with a running shoot offense. They don't have the physical mentality when you have to get that one or two yard play. The ball's flying up in the air. Kwame Jordan comes down with it. A huge play for this Louisiana Tech football defense. Keep in shape. He said, just throw some more, man. Just throw some more. The Anthony Smith has Alexander, and he body slams him. Anthony Smith came into this game without a sack this season. He's an NFL prospect. His coaches say he played at a small school here in Louisiana. They say he's an SEC-level talent, Mark. And there's an outstanding swim move. You can't leave him one-on-one. -on -one. You have to slide to that tackle, not the other. Tina called a lot, and here Boyd uh, puts a big hit on Pollard, but pays the price for it. <laughs> They're always with the crowd. Very popular guy. Alexander's in trouble. Alexander goes down again. Season tonight, less than 10. Alexander needs at least 18. He's throwing it in traffic, and he's going be a good night on Rocky Top, the SEC on ESPN. It's a rocky roll right now as Alexander goes down for the fifth time tonight. Christian Lacy, Matt Broha, both back there to wrap up the Warrior quarterbacks. Boy, they're just playing man coverage back there right now. They started out playing zone. Now they feel they can match up with the receivers. They know the routes. They're doing a great job. And, Mark, you can't come out and lose 10, 12 yards on first down. Expect to pick it up. Field goals up. And a low line drive kick that is returnable. The place has it. Of course, it is not. Rank 20. And take you win the battle in the treasure. Whether you're talking about offense or defense, you're usually going to win the football game. And it's one thing. We assume that's what it is as we take another look here, Mark. Oh, this is uh, definitely. Yeah, that's helmet to helmet, Coach, without a doubt. Well, the young man that made the hit, his dad played linebacker in Iowa, where I happened to get a master's degree from, in the Rose Bowl team. And the other captain was Bobby Steele. There's no foul for an unnecessary rough. But I don't What's think he hit right there? That's a helmet to helmet. The shoulder right might the have, earpiece. The shoulder might have hit. And really, that's what uh, most of the coaches, Rob, will tell you. When the light came on for Alexander, his Moniz, lights went out for Hawaii. Two field goals, the only thing the Warriors have been able to muster tonight. Moniz throwing for the end zone. Couple of rent a problem tonight. A couple of drives in and field goals. And now Moniz trying to keep this one alive. And he is not going to. Another sack. For the defense of Louisiana Tech. Well, here's the other thing. It, as a football coach, you ought to be able to help your offense somewhat. You know they're blitzing all the time. They never roll them out. They never do anything. Everybody on defense knows exactly where he's going to throw the ball from. They can send their blitzes that way. You run them out. Have to go back, class a little bit, and then travel to Dallas to get ready for this one. Moniz put it in track. There goes Greg Salas on the catch, and Salas fumbles into the end zone. 